What's going on guys? Phantasm Mask here and today we're going to be talking about something that I bought myself for Christmas and that would be a custom lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. Uh, this is my first one. This is the Renegade model, the Renegade LE I believe. And uh, Ultra Sabers came highly recommended from a friend of mine who recently bought a uh, Guardian Blue lightsaber. I can't remember exactly what the hilt was but uh, it was a very basic saber and looking through their website and looking at some of the cool hilts that they had, I decided to go with a cross guard saber, uh, splurge a little bit for myself for Christmas, and uh, wound up getting this awesome, awesome lightsaber. So first things first, we'll start with the hilt. I'll kind of get a little bit closer for this. Hopefully my camera will focus. Uh, you got a few options with the claw here. Uh, I opted to go with silver. Um, I felt that it better matched this particular hilt because it's got the nice black and silver accents. Um, I got a switch right here, which is not illuminated. I actually kind of regret not getting an illuminated switch. They look super cool on other lightsabers. Um, cross guard. Probably thinking this thing is pretty heavy. Um, a lot of people that I, when I was reading reviews or uh, watching other videos of this, they say that this lightsaber is heavy and that you really couldn't one hand something like this, but I'm holding it and moving it around with no problem. Uh, I got uh, heavy grade blades on here because I wanted to be able to, you know, sometimes I can get a bit clumsy with something like this and I didn't want the, uh, didn't want the blade to shatter and have to get a new one, which from my understanding, these things are super durable. So that will probably never even happen, at least not even with the uh, standard blades that come with it. Also, there was a bit of a concern that I kind of heard with uh, the colors kind of getting washed out with this heavy grade. I don't believe so at all. I think that this, uh, the color that I have with this lightsaber is, uh, is perfect. Uh, so I guess the best way to demonstrate the color on this, and uh, this does have sound. It's got the uh, basic Obsidian soundboard in there, um, which may be somewhere down the line because I found out on their website that you can send this hilt back in. Uh, pay some money and get the upgraded Obsidian soundboard. I may do that somewhere down the line. But um, it's got a simple soundboard in here, and I guess the best way to demonstrate what the color is, even though I know my camera is going to try to automatically white balance it, is to uh, shut off my light over here and uh, turn it on. So let's go ahead and... Uh... So yeah, unfortunately my camera is going to try to white balance this one out, but this is Consular Green. And um, I may link in the description uh, a picture that doesn't have as much white balance, but this thing is super green. Um, the best way that I can kind of compare it as to how green it is is um, kind of like a, a Sprite label um, is probably the best way I've heard it described, and I have to agree with that. Um, turn this back on here. You press and hold the button to shut it off comes right off. And again, this is the simple soundboard. Uh, quite pleased with the simple soundboard, actually. Uh, it's got a nice ignition noise. Um, I'll probably turn it back on a little bit and we'll get into a bit of the motion with this because there's also some motion noises. Um, as far as build quality goes, uh, this thing is feels like a premium quality product. And for the price, I really felt it should have been that. And it's just, I'm nothing but amazed with the amount of quality that went into this. Um, I know the cross guard isn't necessarily as popular as uh, I've heard some people criticize, especially with the new movie out. Uh, people don't like it. And uh, I like the color a lot and it's got a great build to it. It's not as heavy as people seem to think it is. And uh, it's just super cool. Um, Ultra Saber sent it to me in two separate packages, one for the blade and then uh, one for the hilt here, and I opted to get the hilt assembled because uh, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Um, and these uh, these emitters here can all be unscrewed and taken off. Uh, the blade's a little bit more tricky, and one thing worth noting is that unscrewing the uh, parts of the hilt here, uh, there's a little picture that was given to me, will void your warranty because it could potentially mess up some wires in there. So. There's that. Um, other things about this saber. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. That's really the only way that I can put it. Uh, I'm super pleased with the build quality. Um, let's go ahead and uh, 
turn it back on and I'll kind of, kind of give a demonstration of kind of the uh, movement uh, with this particular saber. So we'll turn it on here and so I got the ignition noise and you kind of got to... So I've noticed that going like this doesn't really give you as much movement noises, but um, kind of like if you go like this, you get more are uh, going up and down sometimes. It's, it's kind of finicky. I also don't have a lot of space to work with here. Also, there's clashing noises. Or you can, like this, uh, simply tapping the power button will give you a kind of a clash noise. So that's pretty nifty. Yeah. And just like even taking my hand and doing that, those blades don't move at all. Um, it comes with a tiny little uh, Allen key that you can use to screw in all of the blades. So I am overall pleased with this, and uh, it kind of makes me want to get another one, even though I'm probably going to wait on that for a little while. Um, really pleased with Ultra Sabers and what they had to offer here, considering that this is my first one. Um, I would highly recommend buying from Ultra Sabers. Uh, this is just a premium quality product, um, not as expensive as some of the competition, which I really enjoyed. Uh, some of the competition out there, something like this can go for double. And I also like the ability to, if I so choose, be able to work with Ultra Sabers and send the hilt back in to get the soundboard upgraded, or even get the uh, Emerald Light Driver, which allows me to kind of have simultaneous colors going at once, or just change the color, period. Um, this is a really, really cool lightsaber, better than any of the Force Effects lightsabers that you can get from Hasbro. The Black Series Kylo Ren saber is nothing compared to this. Um, this is definitely something that I'm going to enjoy having, and uh, maybe my friend, um, somewhere down the line, we can maybe have a duel with something like this, because I'm super interested. Um, as far as uh, battery life goes... Um, I opted to go with AA batteries. I kind of regret doing that. I think I should have spent a little bit extra money and got the rechargeable kit because I feel like this thing is going to eat through batteries really quickly. So I may uh, buy some rechargeable ones. Uh, something I did notice, and it could be because of the fact that I'm using batteries, and or maybe it's just something standard with the uh, lights in this, is that when I turned it on, well, you can't really see it on the camera, but when you look at it in re uh, in the room with, like, as if you were here, the blade kind of has, like, this bit of a flicker to it. Almost like it does in the movies. It's kind of hard to describe. Not like it's going in and out, but it's kind of got this weird quality to it. Like, a f like it, it actually is some kind of thing that was some kind of weapon, laser weapon, that was designed and, like, maybe has not so strong of a power source. It's super weird to describe. The only way to would be to show it to you in uh, in real life, but unfortunately I can't do that. And unfortunately the white balance, I know for a fact, probably ruined the color on this in this video. But again, I'll leave a link in the description to what the color actually looks like, you know, because I took a few photos of this um, before showing it off here. Final thoughts on Ultra Saber's Renegade LE. This is a damn fine lightsaber, and uh, super proud to have it. Now I just gotta find out where I'm going to store it in my super small room. So thanks a lot, Ultra Sabers. You guys did great, and thank all of you for watching. Phantasm Mask here, signing out. <laughs>